Hey everyone, uh, I'm Anna. I head up the Valorant studio at Riot. I want to thank our friends at Epic for inviting me here today. This is bananas. So most of you have no idea who I am, but if you did, you'd know that I can really get up all in my head on things. I like to be prepared and thoughtful and researched. And so when thinking about what to talk about today, I went back and I looked at a bunch of previous Unreal Fest keynote segments. And I was like, oh crap because segment after segment featured these exceptionally beautiful games, graphics-forward games, games that took advantage of some of Unreal's very best features in technology. This is Valorant. And while I imagine folks would have many positive things to say about the game, graphics-forward is likely not one of them. And yet, without Unreal, I don't think this game would have been possible. Our story is not one of day-night cycles or sprawling worlds but it is one of extreme player orientation, the building of a global community, and a story where our devs get to be the heroes. Our goal with Valorant was to create a world-class 5v5 tactical shooter, hyper-competitive, super precise, where the addition of abilities create depth and strategy without undermining the gameplay. We wanted our game to be truly global, one that not only reflects and celebrates our global communities, but also supports them by running on machine specs that sometimes feel downright uncomfortable. And we wanted no one, no one, to feel like they were ever at a competitive disadvantage. Competitive integrity is our number one tenant on Val. So our devs needed to focus on gameplay feel, anti-cheat, server latency, combating peakers advantage, and so much more. What Unreal has brought to Riot and to Valorant is the very strongest of foundations, adaptability, flexibility, putting our devs in the position to focus on major innovations because instead of worrying about the engine, they're worrying about the things that matter most to our players. I'll give you an example, recent example, of what I'm talking about. So when we set out to make Val, we knew in our hearts and in our minds and in our bones that this game would be PC first in every single way. FPS on console, sure, but a tactical shooter on console, especially one that's trying to deliver the gameplay experience that we are, we really couldn't wrap our heads around it. And so upon launching the game, to our delight, we discovered lots of folks enjoy Valorant. Our player community was global. It was diverse, young, very demanding, and to be honest, larger than we were expecting. So our first couple of years were laser focused on all of those folks, making sure they felt fully supported. And then we started seeing the requests coming in. Val on console, when? And so console became harder and harder to ignore as an opportunity. Should we do it? Probably. Could we do it? That was the big question. I told the team and the community and my stakeholders that we would give it a shot, but that if we had to compromise on what makes Val, Val, precise gunplay, strategy, high stakes, competitive integrity, then it wasn't worth doing. Other goals. This would not be a traditional port. Console players needed to believe that this game was built with their needs in mind. We didn't want to build an entirely new team. We wanted to learn things very quickly. And if we were going to go to market, I kind of wanted to get there as soon as we could. So fun. Can you imagine us being able to do any of that if we had to port over a PC-only proprietary engine? Can you imagine us being able to do any of that if Unreal didn't already have in built-in platform support? Unreal knows these platforms. It gives us integrations with console SDKs, rendering implementations, platform native input handling. The engine is already optimized for all the different platforms, so we could focus on optimizing the game experience. And look, I know for most of you, that is a no-brainer and table stakes. But for Riot, we had never launched a live service game on console before, ever. So for us, having this capability immediately available to us was actually a game changer and a huge part of our decision to move forward. Once again, our devs could be heroes focused entirely on what sets Val apart from other games in the space. Features like focus mode that helped us deliver true Valorant gameplay on controller without sacrificing what makes tax shooters great to begin with. Flexibility, adaptability, rock solid foundation, capabilities that allowed us to learn the, a ton of things so fast and get to market very quickly. Millions of players are playing Val on console now, and we owe a huge part of that to our relationship with Unreal. So Valorant has been on a rocket ship since launch. It's actually incredibly humbling. Here we are just four years in, 
played by over 35 million players a month all over the world on all manner of PCs, and now on PlayStation and Xbox, bringing major esports tournaments to all corners of the world and doing awesome music collaborations with folks like Zed and Gravitz and so many more. We have a team stacked with incredible world-class developers, Unreal developers, where the engine provides them the foundation required to make the very best experiences. And our teams at Riot are working so hard to make Valorant more than just a game, but a meaningful part of a player's lives for decades to come. As my friend Ben would say, it's really exciting stuff, stuff, y'all. So look, I know that there was absolutely no lumen shown in this particular presentation. No nanite, no animation motion matching. I could not rattle off a list of UE5 features that are transforming Val as we know it. Wait, actually, can anyone guess what version of Unreal Val is on right now? 4.27. That's right. We have squeezed literally every ounce of everything we could get out of UE4. So now we make the move to UE5. And that is not an easy feat when your game is a live service game, but it is necessary for sure. And this upgrade is not going to significantly change how Val looks or performs, at least not right away. But here's what I can say. There are many developers back at Riot who are incredibly grateful for what Unreal has allowed us to do for players. And there are many developers back at Riot who are very excited about what UE5 can do for us in the future. Maybe those devs are working on something I can't talk about. Maybe those devs are thinking about ways to expand the Val universe into new playable experiences. Maybe we feel very fortunate to have everything UE5 can offer at our disposal, and maybe we stoked that because we chose Unreal for Val, we can move our devs around and our tech around and our everything around really, really easily to explore those totally hypothetical new playable experiences. So maybe you'll see me or someone from my team up here in the future with a very different sort of presentation. But whatever comes next, you can count on us to keep working to deliver the best possible player experiences to our players. We know Epic and Unreal share our goals and excitement for the future of gaming. So really, our relationship is just getting started. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for the time. Having an amazing Unreal Fest. I'll see you all later.